vlog about where I'm at with lessons and everything. So I started teaching guitar in 2009 and I've taught through various places. I actually started at Sparks Music and then I went to Ginger's Drum School, professional drum school for a while. And then I transitioned into Johnson Music Center and then um, I've been teaching ha at home, like home visits for about three years and everything. So after that, um, and that basically brought me till yesterday, I did my last home visit lesson. I think probably for the rest of the year. So uh, not rest of this year, but a good chunk into next year. I'm really hoping that we get a, another local music store that's really strong with lessons that I can uh, be um, a strong instructor for them. I think that would be really great. But for now, I'm done. And it feels really good to have, I've learned a ton, and it feels really good to have that extra time on my hands. So I'm going to be spending that uh, doing more playing and writing and getting ready for the, hopefully this record that comes out uh, next year. So hopefully early next year if I can get everything together. So I want to talk about a couple things coming up too. Um, November 23rd is at the Metropolitan Coffee. I will be there, I believe, at probably about 7.30 p.m. Um, that's gonna be all the new music and some old new music. That's gonna be a couple hour performance. So if anybody wants to come down for that, that's here at Hutchinson. Um, after that, um, something I just got confirmation from the director of Radio Kansas, uh, December 5th, I will be at Radio Kansas in studio for an updated Night Crossings performance. Uh, this will be for Night Crossings. It's a radio interview and a performance, and I'll be doing all my new stuff. Not everything. I don't have time to do everything, but they'll let me play and record some extra stuff if I want to get some more audio, which would be which is a really great thing for me. Um, what's more exciting is it'll the next night. I, I don't know if it's the next night or it's a couple days later. They're going to do a debut this for Kansas Guitar Masters as an updated section for Kansas Guitar Masters. I'm starting to get a lot more traction with that, and I. It, <laughs> As a guitar player, it's really, the whole putting a master in front of it is really strange and awkward for me because I definitely don't feel that way. I know there's a lot of great, great guitarists uh, in the community and I, it's an honor and a blessing, but at the same time, it's hard for me. I don't like saying that word. It's, it's very, well, I'm such a student of guitar. I'll never stop being a student of guitar, but um, I'm gonna take it because it, it's a wonderful opportunity and I am, feel very blessed and thankful to Radio Kansas and everything they've done with supporting me through these years as I've progressed as a musician. So um, that will be the fifth. That only holds about 20 people. Uh, so anybody's interested in the live show that's sitting down for the live radio interview, please get a hold of me. I'm going to put a Facebook event up. That's um, If anyone's interested, I have to fill only at so many slots and that's all there is. It's going to be, I think, at 1.30 in the afternoon on um, December 5th. It's a Thursday. Um, also, after that, December 21st, um, I'll have all this will have prod, all not projects, I'm thinking of work. There's going to be um, events on my Facebook page that I will share around with all of these will have events. Two of them already have events, but anyways, the December 21st is my an third annual Christmas performance, and I will be joined hopefully by Frankie Shane and DJ, depending upon from basically the Troubadours. We'll probably do a couple of tunes as well, but it's mainly the, the all of the stuff I did last year. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to write any to do any new versions of Christmas music for this year, but it would be really neat if I could. I'll just see if I have time. <clears throat> uh, one final thing I wanted to talk about is if anyone's interested in supporting what I'm doing now, especially as a guitarist with the new music and videos I'm posting, I have a GoFundMe that went live, and that GoFundMe is going to be going through. Probably as long as I can keep it open. I don't um, I just would like some help if anybody's willing to give me a dollar or anything they want um, I can tell you that if you donate ten dollars or more. I'm guaranteeing that we um, What was it? Um, it ten dollars or more. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a signed copy of the CD and that that way you're basically pre-ordering the record and I think that's a really good way to do it depending on how much traction this gets I would like to do I have but some button designs sticker designs and I want to work on some t-shirt designs um, if we get any higher level donors I want to do more than just a CD I want to get you more you know more some more merchandise and actually start coming up with my own merchandise and I've never done that before it's hard to do as a solo artist like to actually have merchandise instead of just typically being a band thing but I hope to do that some point so that's kind of where I'm at right now through the rest of the year um, and 
my work with Soapbox Troubadours is going to continue into 2020. We're going to keep going and do some fun stuff. Uh, there's a chance for another December performance on the 14th, but I cannot confirm that. <laughs> I'm not going to deny that it might not happen, but that's cooking too. So hopefully I hear something about that soon since it is going to be it is right around the corner, man. We are, we are right on the cusp of the holiday, but uh, um, that's all I got. I'm going to do a little more playing for you, though. next time.